hey hey, sad news, dot dot dot. I think forgot to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Literally, who are you? How could I have possibly forgotten to subscribe to your YouTube channel if I don't know who you are? Hello everybody, I hope you had a lovely week and that your weekend went well and all that jazz. Today, I just, I really need to vent about sub for sub things because it's everywhere. It is even on Instagram now. Why? 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 There are three types of sub for sub type messages that you can get, or at least that I can think of offhand right now. And oh boy, do each of them have their own spot in hell for how annoying that they are. Number one, the oh my gosh, I know these automated DMs are really annoying, but I'm gonna send it to you anyway because I am thirsty as for example. Hey there, I'm a small YouTuber and it would make my day to get some feedback on my new video. I'd be happy to give some feedback on a video of yours as well. Firstly, no you fucking wouldn't. Because I, this was when I was like first starting out, I hadn't anything uploaded, I just want to get all social media and stuff up and out of the way and all that before I started uploading. Logic behind it, I don't know. So I replied saying that I really enjoyed it and gave said person some tips on how I thought that they could improve. And they replied with, hey there. I'm a small YouTuber and it would make my day to get some feedback on my new video. I'd be happy to give some feedback on a video of your- You wouldn't be happy to get feedback on a new video because first of all, you didn't even acknowledge or respond to what feedback people were giving you and you just sent another automated DM or a crowdfire or whatever app it was you were using. Like, if you're genuinely gonna go out and ask people for feedback on your content and stuff, at least acknowledge the feedback that they give you is all I wanted to say. Then, number two, there are the YouTube comments. And we, oh, oh, oh we all know which comments that they are. Hey, I just watched your video and I really enjoyed it a lot. I also make YouTube videos on this kind of content too. Check out my channel and subscribe for more. Firstly, no, you fucking didn't watch my video and no, you didn't enjoy the content that was in it at all. You couldn't give a shit about what I had to say. All you want is subscribers. Put all the sarcastic comments and stuff aside for a minute. Okay, if people see you commenting, or at least maybe this is a small minority, but as far as I'm aware, it, it is a lot of people. When they see comments from people trying to grow their channel in such a childish way, I guess, they don't take people seriously. Like if you're going around to especially big YouTubers and being like, oh my God, sub for sub, like for like, comment for blah, 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 whatever shit it is that people post in the comments these days. They're, they're not gonna wanna check out your channel. Initially, they might be like, oh, I recognize this username. I'm gonna give them a chance. I'm gonna go and look at their videos and stuff. But then if they see that you're just commenting sub for sub on everyone, they're not gonna want to. Or, well, maybe some people might still want to and then, oh my gosh, they're 10 times a better person than I am. But as a rule of thumb, like for the most part, people are just gonna be like, oh. Maybe not. However, the one exception I can think of is on my popularity versus integrity video. Someone wrote out a really long, well thought out answer and responded to a lot of the points and stuff that I made in my video. And then at the very, very end, posted a link to a video that they made on a very similar topic. And we had a great discussion about it in the comments. And that I think is the only time I've seen a sub for sub. It wasn't even particularly a sub for sub type comment, but it kind of fits into that category. And I, yeah, I think it's the only time when I've been like, oh my gosh, like I genuinely want to check this out. Yeah, that's just one exception that I can think of of that sort of thing. And lastly, there's something that's new. Maybe it's not new to everyone, but it's certainly relatively new to me. And that is Instagram DMs and Instagram comments being like, oh my gosh, check out my channel. For example, someone on the 26th of September messaged me saying, hi, I'm a small YouTuber too. Could you subscribe and like? I'll return. DM me proof though, and I'll DM you proof back. Listen, sunshine, I know you have a lot more subscribers than I do. And you know, at this point, I think that you'd know that there's there's a thing in, in the corner that tells you how many subscribers that you have. And then a day later, you can click on that and it will show you all of the new subscribers that you've gained, all of their channels. If their subscriptions are on public, who would have thought? Who, ma magic, honestly, just magic. Me being the, the sarcastic little shit I am, replied with, Hey, I know that sub for sub seems like a great way to grow your channel, but honestly, I think maybe it's best to let your content speak for yourself. And oh my God, is that so important? I know I've only been doing YouTube for a little over a month, 
but I have been actively a part of the community for probably, I think it's like nine years now, okay? I know that seeing your subscribe a subscription count growing so quickly because of sub for sub must feel at the time very rewarding but if you don't have engaged subscribers who are liking and commenting and sharing your video around it's not going to be worth anything you're just going to have a dead subscriber count and that's not going to help the youtube algorithm promote your stuff because it's not being like engaged with you know okay fair enough the sub for sub comments bug the shit out of me and god knows how many other people put all of that aside if you want to play the game, you're going to want the YouTube algorithm to be in your favour and having a dead subscriber count, it's it's not going to get you where you want to be. Sure, you may have a high number of subscribers, your views aren't going to be high and stuff and I would just like to point out that numbers aren't everything. You should, at least in my opinion, be doing YouTube because it's something that you're passionate about and because you want to be doing it, not just for some numbers on a screen. Everyone is different, not everyone is going to have the same feelings about that as me and again, that's totally cool. I don't know, from my own, I think that should be the only thing driving you. Anyway, I'm not sure if I got all of the points across that I wanted to, but I just, I feel kind of passionate about this because it makes me sad because some people do genuinely have good content or have the potential to have really really great stuff and they have such wonderful things to talk about and I feel like they almost lose the opportunities to have the audience that they deserve because they're going about it the wrong way. But that's it for this week's video anyway. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. You, you, you know the deal at this stage. Um, I will see you next week. Oh, by the way, thinking of changing my upload day to Monday. Not too sure about it yet. I'm just super swamped and busy at the moment. I don't think Sundays are gonna work out. It would still be at the same time, just on Monday. Cool. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. We'll see you guys at some stage next week. Hope you're having a good day. Bye. Thank you for watching.